Alright guys, I'm being Better than a simple box on Minecraft, so we're going to go through a simple build, it's a medieval style, and uh, let's just have a quick look through the blocks we're going to need to uh, to get this up and running. So Roach is going to act as our cameraman and Cry Cry is going to build along with me. So right here we've got some stone slabs, there you go, ding ding ding, nice and easy. Next to that we've got some birchwood stairs, then we've got birchwood slabs, we've got an oak, blo oak plank block, stone brick, cobblestone, and a log of your choice, but for this tutorial purposes we are using spruce wood log. So what we're going to build, as I say, is a simple uh, version of a medieval house. So we're just going to try and follow along and, uh, and follow us round as I teach Cry how to build this. So it's a relatively simple build, so if you want to build along, pause the video and uh, build along with us, or if not, just watch the video and see what, see what ideas you get. So. Uh, the easiest way to start this build, try is to pop a block in the corner there. Now it works on a uh, building on an odd base format, which just basically means that in between these blocks we're going to count an odd number, and then we're going to place a block right in front of it like that. As long as we match this for front and back and side to side, the building's always going to work out. you just got to make sure you get this perfectly correct. Uh, so if you do a 3 and a 5, or a 3 and a 7, or a 3 and a 9, or a 3 and a 11, or Basically any number that's odd can go in the centre here, right? So you can make these buildings as big or as small as you like. Um, but obviously the bigger it is, the more fancy you have to do the roots up and, and things like that. So we'll try and keep it simple uh, for now. So we're just going to go for the 535, so we're just going to knock this away. So what we want to start off by doing is saying, okay, that's going to be the corner of our building. And we're going to then count along five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to put another log in front of it like that, okay? Uh, and in a second you're going to copy me and uh, do, do the back end once we've got um, a sort of an L shape going. But then we're going to go one, two, three, and then one in front of that, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then one in front of that. So what we've got here right now is you've got a doorway, this will be a doorway in the centre here, and this is a window to the left, right, sorry, and then a window to the left. Okay, you get that? Really simple, okay? So, to create the corner, what we've got to do is we've got to do three in a diagonal like that, okay? Now, this is really simple, it's just going to be five, five, so there's one, two, three, four, five, and then one there, and then again, one, two, three, four, five, and then one there. So, what we've got now is the front and two sides, so these are just going to be simple windows. So, yeah, you go ahead and try that side, so let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, one in front, correct. One, two, three, four, Five and one in front. Okay, to so create your corner, three, three in a diagonal. Two, three. Well done. Okay, so then your front match the front along the front along the back here. So you're going to start here. And then square it out. Superb. Okay, so we've got a basic format for the house there. Just as a, a quick tip, both for the viewers at home and uh, for yourself, logs can be a pain in the backside to lay. Um, I hated laying logs when I first ever started using logs, but eventually they become quite easy to use. And the, the simple way to remember basically is if you look at, a, at the side of a block and you try and place a block on the side of it, if it is below 45 degrees, you get a sideways log. If it is above 45 degrees, you get a vertical log. Okay? Really simple tip just to uh, help you out when you're looking at stuff. Stairways um, are the same way. If you just get this up here, um, if you're trying to place a stairway and you want it to be the normal way up, you look at the bottom half of, a, of the block. If you want it to be upside down, you look at the top half of the block. It makes the two different directions. So the bottom half, normal way, top half, upside down. Okay. So, back to this, what we've got to do then, is once we've got all the logs laid out, and we've got our floor plan laid out, we need to take these to five high, or well, that's all the logs, okay? So, two, three, four, five, and 
and then keep going right, right around the building. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, and then just keep going. Take a couple of minutes to run these in, shouldn't take too long. There we go. Nearly there. Okay, so now on the stone bricks, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make these another three high on all of them, on each side. So they're a total of, so they're a total of four high, so there should be one underneath the top logs, like that. Can you see that? Nope. Just each side. I'll fill the middle in, just each side. We're going to eventually make a, a window out of it. It's easier just to follow. That's it. That's fine. No worries. Oh, <laughs> one too many. Sweet. And then one on top of it. Cool. Just to make it nice and easier for people to follow, I always just, uh, just run these in like this. We are going to do that eventually, but not, uh, but not quite. We'll get there. So just run these up. If I'm going too fast, just let me know. Hopefully not. Okay, so what we've got now is we've got a complete set of U-shapes everywhere, and you were quite correct you, where you put the top across there, so we're just going to make them 3D objects now, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, place the tops across the top, there you go, as usual with top goes, put that along there, put that along there, along there, okay, oh, nearly hit the cameraman, never mind. Okay, so what we've got now is we've got a very simple, sort of basic house starting to form. So what we're going to do now is look at the corners here, right? And we're going to run a log running sideways right the way over the top of these windows, like this. See the way we've done that? Excellent. That side over there. Hold on. Okay. Then you see where we've got the centre ones here. We've got this um, three by three way uh, centre in the middle. This is going to become our corridor. So what we do is we run logs straight across here. This is wherever your doorway is. You're going to run them straight across. Okay, and then from the side wall, you run one straight to the middle like that. That's going to help us form some rooms on the inside. <laughs> Number, there you go, below 45 degrees, well done. Okay, so where this connects, just as a nice finish, you see un under here where it connects, right, we're going to then stick stone bricks like that. Superb, well done. Okay, now you can either half slab the entire floor in here to make sure nothing spawns, because you know, mobs don't spawn on half slabs, so we can half slab the floor in here. But what you don't want to do is, wherever these cross beams are above you, you don't want to place um, slabs on the floor. So, wherever the, uh, the log's not above you. Get those tight corners in the middle. Get rid of the sheep out of the way. Excuse me, sheep. Oh. There you go. So making sure. Nowhere there's a log. You got that? Yeah. In down here. And then there. Okay. So, now these walls, we can decide to make these walls out of anything we want. If you want the internal walls to be made out of uh, the same log, then you can, you can run them in as logs or cobblestone or uh, wool. Well, some people use wool. Wool looks cool. Um, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to show you using 
these upward, these uh, upward planks that we got out earlier. And you're just going to then fill these in. These are going to become your walls. the middle wall gets completely filled in. You don't want to go from room to room, you want the corridor out there. So what we've done is we've created a nice little corridor out here. Oh, it's the middle wall. Put this middle wall in. So these basically should meet up with the logs that we created across the top and that'll just create our room divides for us. Now as you can see you've got a nice simple little layout for a little building you know, already coming together mm -hmm. okay so if you want to make a, a second floor on this what you do is everywhere there's a set of logs say like on the corner here you place a log there in the corner right in the corner like that just facing upwards this is just for you to um to count your logs from but what you want to do then is you just want to count up five as you normally would. So one, two, three, four, five on top of each. One, two, three, four, five. So once you've counted up five from the from the original block, so it would be a total of six, but then you're going to come back and smash the bottom one so it still remains five. Okay, so now in line with this, everywhere else there's a log, we then need to go and place another five on top. So like on here, one, two, three, four, five, and then here, one, two, <laughs> go ahead, do you want to push that one? Alright, I'll get it. There you go. Okay, same in the centres on the end here, one, two, three, four, and five. Superb, no worries. Right, on the second floor, um, just to save space and make sure you don't use up too much um, internal space. I'm in the wrong place, that one. Yeah, I'm just going to correct myself there. Yeah, one, two, three, three, four, and five. Just make sure that they're all in the right place. Well done, you got it right, I got it wrong. Okay, so to save space on the second floor, we don't actually set these in one. Although you can, if you if you like that sort of look, but I don't like setting them in on the second floor because it usually means you haven't got much space to work with on the second floor. So I just go ahead and put these level. So you're just going to make the same windows as you did before. I usually make them out of a different material, so I've made the top windows out of cobble. As I say, usually a lot of people actually stick a stone brick on the bottom and cobble on the top. Or they might stick stone brick on the bottom and wool on the top, do you know what I mean? Just to give it that uh, that variant.